Yeah, I think we're gonna keep this hand for sure. This hand recovers from Erectos's return pretty nicely. Play this first in case he plays Death Ray Shaman and we draw a Pillar of Flame or something like that. I don't know. I'm not picky. Alright. I love having Sphinx of Revelation in hand because, like, lands are never that bad to draw. It's, like, always totally acceptable to draw a land. Death Right Shaman. Yeah, that's fine. That's a nice one. Uh, we'll just play this like this. Um, do my best just not to really cast any spells into that Death Rite Shaman for now. It's not particularly threatening. Now that I have this Wrath in hand. Oh, now I'll play that. I was going to say I'll play the Sulphur Falls because there's really no downside and... It makes Wrath seem less likely. Um, but now that I have a shock land, there's really no reason not to do that. Uh, I feel like Appetite for Brains is me. Uh, I want to get. I, I don't want to get too greedy with this Wrath because because of Appetite for Brains uh, being a problem. But it's okay. So he's going to just shock me for two here. That's pretty good. Uh, here, uh, it doesn't matter, I'll just play Glacial Fortress. I guess I should have played Sulphur Falls. Oh yeah, that was actually bad. I should have played Sulphur Falls because of overload on Mizium Mortars. I mean, I, I think that I'll be saving the Mizium Mortars for a couple of reasons. Uh, a, can't get Appetited. B, uh, I can cast it when I have my Olivia in play. And against him, it's as good as a Wrath. Um, but just one-sided, so. This card is awesome in this deck. I love the games where I just don't play anything until turn 5. Those are some of my favorite games. Hmm. Do I want to draw two cards? No, I do not. Seems like he missed an attack with his Death Rite Shaman there. Alright. Uh, here, I think the time has come to just Wrath. Because, yeah, I'll Wrath, and then uh, he will... Have a Thrag Tusk token. Um, if I didn't have this other Mizium Mortars, I would be a little more hesitant, but I think that that's fine. And then I can transition that into Sphinx's Revelation potentially, and and then uh, we'll be pretty close to Olivia Voldaren. And the good news is that if he plays another Thrag Tusk, it doesn't feel like he really has that many outs to Olivia. So what I'm going to do actually, I think, is just play Olivia and then st start stealing stuff. Because when I, once I have an Olivia in play, um, yep. Like, it makes his Rakdos' return much worse. Oh, perfect. All right, yeah, so that makes my decision easy. Uh, so I play this, I leave up blue, blue, red. All right, so I'm also gonna leave up black. Just because, oh no, I added black with that, right. <laughs> Alright, sorry, uh, just being an idiot here for a second. And we'll leave up Olivia, and then we will leave up Counterflux. If he casts something like Rakdos' Return or a removal spell for Olivia, hopefully it's not Sever the Bloodline. Sever the Bloodline would be an issue. Uh-huh. Nice, he drew it right in time. 
That's awesome. <laughs> Swings of Revelation, it's so nice. It feels like that card should get Appetite for Brains. It's such a, like, Appetite for Brains is supposed to steal all the high-impact cards, but technically. All right, so we are going to take eight here. Oh, no. Oh, I would have attacked with Beast. You're too far behind not to be bluffing something there. All right. Because, like, if he attacks with Beast, I certainly don't block, again, because of Staticaster. Go to 8. All right, so now we just could start stealing things. Oh, no, we don't have the second black. Shoot. All right, well, in that case, we probably just sit back and then leave up Counterflux and Sphinx's Revelation. He can't really attack, because we got one, two, three, four, five, six. You know what? I'm just gonna um I'm just gonna Azorius charm this. I'm so far ahead um that I just don't want him to draw anything scary, first of all. Second of all. Um, I'm fine with just eating that for free, and then I'll get to, if he doesn't do anything uh, at instance, or, you know, if he doesn't do anything on his main phase, that I have to counter flux. He's probably just going to cast another Thrag Tusk, which is totally fine with me. I'm just going to cast many Thrag Tusks all game. Yep. So here, I get to kill this Oh, wow. Oh, Ryan. Oh, Ryan. Oh, Ryan. Okay. Just, like, don't leave up triple red there. Tap two red mana. I embarrass myself sometimes. Um, well, just punt the game away. I mean, we're still fine, but that was, like, one of the dumbest things I've ever done. Uh... Okay. Now. Do this correctly. This time. Alright. Gonna kill your Thrag Tusk. go, we have a 10-10, Olivia, it's not bad. Uh, I could play that, try to find a black source, and then try to take control of his Thrag Tusk. That seems really loose, though. Um, I could just play this plus it, I could just pass. I think I don't mind just passing. Passing seems to be working out for me okay here. Try to attack with everything. Oh, he has Kessig Wolf Run. Ugh. So we can do it for one, two, three, four, five. That's fine. Yeah, block here. This is not going to work out very well for him, I don't think. Never mind. Yeah, that's not bad at all. Wow, Olivia just dominates this guy. So he can wolf run a beast, and then I can just kill it, and then this dies anyway. Yep. It becomes a 10-3. Well, make sensible play. Also, stop tapping Clifftop Retreat for colorless mana. It's not cool. All right. 
All right, so he, yeah, maybe didn't think that one through adequately. All right, uh, that's not bad. At this point, I think I want to just, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. No, I don't want to do that. Just got to pass the turn again. I have to just be able to leave up counterflux at all times now as to not be dead to Rakdos's return. Um... All right, yeah, I'm gonna just draw a bunch of cards here. Hopefully he doesn't have like two Searing Spears in hand. I don't, I mean, I don't know, I don't really put him on that. All right, I only drew one land anywhere in there, that's funny. All right, play this, oh, I guess I just drew a black land, oh well. Um, play Museum Mortars. Red, red, red. One, two, three. Blue, blue, red, yeah, okay. At this point, I want to just start being able to attack with Olivia Boldaren and finishing the job before something crazy happens. With this counterflux in hand, I don't really feel like I can lose to anything. So we're just going to discard Desperate Ravings, Snapcaster Mage, sure. Hmm. Well, that doesn't do anything. Yeah, I can just take two, and then if he goes to pump it, I can kill it, and he won't be able to Rakdos to return me. All right, so we'll get rid of Rakdos, Key Rune, and Desperate Ravings, I guess. It doesn't really matter. Um, I mean, I probably should have gotten rid of Terminus, because there's no way I'm going to want to Terminus away. Farseek is good. Farseek is in. All right, now, no, there's no reason to do that now. At this point, I'm so far ahead that, like, just playing around everything that I could possibly think of is probably correct. And by playing that, he shortened my turn by a clock. Or my clock by a turn, rather. Uh, yeah, just pass. Alright. Took down round one. So this deck is, uh, like I said, it's pretty slow. I win a lot of games in the, in the single digits of minutes left. Um, but it's powerful. I mean, it's, it's strong. It does a lot of cool stuff. And, uh, yeah. See you in the next round.